What's up everybody, it's King Kunta, and today I'm going to bring to you another gold farm. So, sticking true with the same theme as the past couple farms, um, we're going to keep farming cloth that's selling on the auction house right now because of first aid. And uh, I'm probably going to sound real repeti or repetitive if you've actually watched any of my previous videos. Before I get into this, I'd like to just ask you guys if you liked the video, um, after the end, obviously, uh, you can like, comment, subscribe, and if you do, it really helps me out. And also check out the links in the description below, because I have some really decent stuff down there, like my entire recording setup and all that good stuff, and uh, just links that'll like provide everything for a little bit cheaper if you guys are actually planning to help. So today we are going to be farming ember silk cloth, and uh, this is a cataclysm uh, mat, and it's pretty popular right now and it's selling a decent amount because it actually is going to or the achievements with first aid that are tied to it uh, after the pre-patch are going to be removed so a lot of people are buying this up in order to get those achievements because they're achievement hunters and you know how those people are sometimes so right now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to show you on my server what exactly Ember Silk is going for so look this up one second I'm going to go ahead, scroll over, maybe I should type cloth. That'll help, yeah. Okay, so, obviously, if you're a tailor, this will help. You're going to get a lot more, but you don't even really need to be a tailor. So, it's going for about four gold a piece on my server right now. And uh, the regional market value average is actually quite a bit higher. So, if you are on one of those servers where it's like 10 gold, you're going to be uh, pretty lucky with the like you know you're selling one for ten gold and if you pick up a hundred you know you do the math that's that's a decent amount of gold quite quickly so I really do recommend you guys go ahead and go check this farm out that I'm about to show you um, it's really worth your time and you can only really do it now uh, before the pre-patch comes out so it's a good opportunity to make a bunch of gold really quickly and uh, right before another uh, pre-patch is coming out so it you know that's why would you not do it? Do you not like thousands of gold? Alright, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to cut the video, and uh, when we resume, I will be in the farming location, and I will tell you everything you need to know about it, what's useful, all that good stuff, and I'm going to go ahead and cut it right about now, and we'll see you there. Bye. What is up, everybody? We're back with that cut, and uh, as you can see, I am at the farming location now. So first things first, we're going to go ahead and show you exactly where it is. So we're in Kalimdor, and we are down here in Oldham, and we are right in this area right there. As you can see, you're going to come here, and you're going to see uh, almost like two pillars. I'll go ahead and fly up just to make it easier. Or They're like two kind of houses almost right outside. And uh, what we're going to do is we're going to fly down to right in front of here. And uh, we're going to start killing those. But before we do that, we're going to make sure we buy a potion of treasure finding and uh, that's on the auction house and it can go for about a thousand gold or 500 or something like that but we want to pop that potion and then we also want to use a bear tartar just to add that extra little bit of movement speed uh, so we're able to keep up with these mobs as they spawn so these mobs right here are interesting these are part of a quest chain so what that means is after you kill all of them they have to force respawn so the faster you can kill all of them, the more you can get out of this farm. So we see here, I'm just going to go ahead and I'm just going to remember the keys I use. Use bear tartar. And I will just sprint around and kill every single one of the nerf -esque guards. Or nerf -esque, whatever guards that you can find because they will keep respawning. As you can see, I kind of just got some random stuff there. But you want the potion of treasure finding because it helps you find treasures on corpses. And with that, you can actually get like uh, some actually really some mats that really sell uh, for a decent price. Now there are a total of, I believe, eight guards. There is one, two, three, four up front. And then once you run back here, there is the one patrolling guard that you just saw me AOE down. And then there are the two on that side, and then the one that stands in the forest. And after you kill all of those, then you will actually be able to forest respawn them, as you see they just did here. And uh, now, they don't always all respawn back in an instant. It does take a second, but the faster you kill them and go through these mobs, the uh, shorter their respawn time. See, as you can see, 
That's how I respawn, and this is just a constant farm. Now, I was kind of, uh, like, not wanting to show you guys this farm because of how, uh, like, just completely abused it can be, as, um, like, most farms in all of them are just crazy right now. Uh, the, one of the first farms I did was the Crocolisk farm, and uh, it was just insane, you know? It was just constant respawning of uh, mobs, and as you can see, I'm kind of taking advantage of it here now. Now, this was nerfed a little bit back in the day, but it still does provide a uh, pretty high yield, especially if you are a uh, tailor. And as you can see, that is literally, like, whew, look at all that. Now, obviously, poster treasure finding doesn't work all the time, but when you do actually uh, get some of the treasures, you will get some, like, uh, extra ember silk and some really decent stuff in here. As you can see, with how uh, fast these mobs are respawning, I'm actually doing quite well. And it's not unheard of for people to earn around, you know, 17, 1800 cloth an hour just using this farm alone because all you have to do is just run around in circles. If you did want to make this farm completely, like, AFK-able, well, not AFK, but, like, not even having to move, I would recommend getting the Looterang. Uh, that helps out quite a bit, so you don't have to move when you loot, and you could literally stand in the middle and just AoE the entire time, and uh, you wouldn't have to worry about anything. It could also speed the farm up uh, much quicker. If you do want to split the loot and you want to invite a friend, you can do that because it will work. Um, like I said, see there's a treasure chest and we're just going to go ahead and open that. You will get a lot of trash, so uh, vendor mount is recommended also, as you can see. Look at all of that. This farm is quite good and that's kind of the reason I was afraid to show you guys because I was worried it was going to be way too good for everyone to see still <laughs> and I didn't really want to tell everyone about it. But, I mean, Blizzard hasn't come back to nerf it, so I honestly think after I post this video about it and I bring it back into the light, it's kind of going to ruin the market um, because this will not, this most likely will not be changed, um, especially with the amount of people that are actually going to end up seeing this video. So just keep that in mind um, as you're watching this video. I recommend you go do it now because if you don't, like, my video is going to ruin it for you. I'm sorry. Like, if you're watching this a week in advance, probably don't even come try this because this is... It might even not be worth it anymore in your market. So, as you can see, we kind of just go around like that. Constantly. As you can see, Bear Tartar totally speeds the process up so much faster. Um, once you get into a groove, though, you can just constantly run around like this. And you'll know which one you have to go to next to kill. As you can see, as I do. And these will kind of come back at the uh, same moment. Come on, Gase. Oh, I missed. Alright, so I missed one. That's the bummer. Once you get it into a groove, though, like this, and you can constantly just keep killing, you're going to be set off really well. So, as you can see, another treasure chest. Uh, you do get a... Oh, look at that. Alright, so we're going to open all these with you guys, just to show you. Some gold. Some gold, a lot more ember silk. Gold, more ember silk. And as you can see, I'm already at that uh, amount, just for, like, a few seconds of farming and well we gotta loot these real quick oh, where's that guy I'm missing somewhere another treasure chest and there we are so that's really all there is to this farm uh, if you liked it please uh, like comment subscribe do all that good stuff it really does help me out in the end and you guys you guys are worth it like you guys are the reason I keep constantly trying to put out content because uh, I want you guys to remain happy with my channel and also get more out of it than what there just is currently I like I want to prepare you guys constantly for all the gold endeavors you'll have in the future uh, because I like making you guys gold and it also you know it helps me feel like I'm actually doing something and pick these up we don't need those yeah, you will get some greens um, that can just be disenchanted or something like that because, see, that's not going to sell for a ton. Uh, I actually might put that one on the auction house just because it might be more lucrative, but it's up to you guys. And uh, I think that's all I have for you guys today. Um, yeah, that's about really all I can talk about this farm. 
if you are watching this video, go do it now because, uh, as you can see, it's going to get over or abused quite quickly uh, shortly after I post this. So I recommend you guys go do that before it's too late. And if you like the video, you know what to do. And I will see all you beautiful subscribers in the next one. Goodbye.